hi welcome back to my channel if you are new here please hit the subscribe button um today i am making a marshmallow drip cup uh right now i am just applying the glitter i already prepped the cup now ceramic cups you just have to try and rough up the uh rough up the cup which is a little hard just use sandpaper and give it a good wipe or scrub down um and then apply your mod podge or bright tone or extreme protection i always apply when i'm doing an ombre i always apply my dark glitter first i do it strong on the edge and then and then when I get to about the midpoint, or just before the midpoint, about a quarter of the way in, I hold the cup at about an angle, 80 degree angle and sprinkle it on lightly. Then I take my light color and I hold it at that same angle and sprinkle it over the gold, the dark color so that it kind of mixes in and it gives a nice ombre and then I go normal I hold the cup um I can't even think of the words I just hold the cup regularly to glitter the rest of the cup so now I have dry brushed the glitter um quite a bit came off um the glitter glue needs to dry for two hours after one hour you can press your glitter down but to recoat or put a coat of bright tone on it needs to dry for two hours um i'm not really certain if you're supposed to dry brush but i did because that's just what i've always done um and then applied and i'm applying another layer but yeah Alrighty, we are back and ready to put our bright tone, bright tone on. So I am going to start with the white area, just so there's no glitter mixage. Um, yeah, my hands are blue. I'm turning into a Smurf. I did seal it with clear coat and let it gas off for, for 24 hours. Actually, I think it's been longer. Yeah, it's totally been longer. Because um, it was ready last night, but I didn't put any on it last night. Okay. Let's wait for it to come back around so we can get in there. I think our white is well covered. Let's go. 
good. I'm gonna wipe off my finger paper towel to get any of that glitter off of my finger as much off as I can so I can start sorry about my child so get my champagne color This is my life. There's always somebody crying or having a fit. This is motherhood. There's always fighting between the children. We've got four, so. Okay, so that's nicely covered. So we're done, I'm gonna swipe up real quick. Make sure I get it. You don't want it too thick. Now your first layer, like I always say, is gonna be your thickest because your glitter will soak up a lot of the product. Okay. We are good, so I'm going to let it spin and do its thing. I'll see you guys in a few hours. Alrighty, I am back and ready to sand. So what you do, you take your 400 grit sandpaper and you can put something behind it. Kind of wrap around like that so that you can get a nice even sand. When you use your fingers behind it, since your fingers have ridges, you don't get a nice even sand. And you just sand like this. You should have this fine powder. Make sure to wear a mask when you're doing any sanding. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> now don't worry about it being dull. It'll shine back up when you put your bright tone on. You just do a light sanding. Just do a light sanding. I don't know if you could hear that. And don't worry about it being dull because it'll shine back up when you put your bright tone over it.
Okay, so now to get in here, I'm going to use my finger just because you can't really get in there with the black. I'm going to go as far as I can. Get it as good as you can. <laughs> this is the fun part. We're going to get this handle. Okay, I think I got it fairly smooth. The good thing about this sandpaper from Crystalag is it is pretty flexible. Now their new sheets don't look like this. Their new sheets are like this. So they're no longer blue. They're actually a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. Um, they're flexible just like the other one and I kind of like the foamy, the thicker foam background. So don't be worried if it looks different. They just have a different supplier to get them through these rough, rough times. I forgot my bottom, guys. It's also a good idea to is a good idea to uh, lay your cup flat and go like this. This helps get all of that glitter or anything that's on the top edge and smooth it out really nicely. So you have a nice smooth finish at the top. All right, I'm gonna go clean this off so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, it's time to add the decal. So I got my decal. I'm going to put it in water for about 30 seconds. Get my cup a little wet. Yeah. 
when it gets loose. That's when you know it's ready. So now I'm going to get it into place. Excess water. With the paper towel. And then squeegee out. Really well. And that's it. See you guys in a while. A lot to do the next coat. Okay, so now I'm ready for the drip. I'm mixing a little bit of a thick acrylic paint with a little Mod Podge. The Mod Podge will help thin it out a little bit. You don't want it too thick where it can't drip, but you don't want it so drippy that it'll run down the entire length of your cup. So I mix them up really well, and now I am applying them with an eyedropper. Um, you can use anything that can squeeze it out in little drips. So yeah, that's it. Okay, so I let my uh, drip dry for 24 hours, and I'm going to add some bite tone. So I'm seeing some uh, stuff I don't want to see. Okay, I think we're good.
think those are all more than I meant to put. Now I'm just wiping any extra onto my finger or off of my finger. You don't want a thick layer. You do not want it running. Okay. I'm gonna let it spin. Oh, my thing for first. Okay, I am back and I'm going to sand. Now I'm going to try to avoid my drips because I want them to be I want my drips to be to not be so smooth. All right, I'm back and going to add my bright tone. I did say in the bottom, I forgot to do the bottom, so I went ahead and did that off, off camera. So this is going to be my last layer of bright tone. Got plenty on here. And that is it. We are done. Gonna spin. 
for an hour. It only needs to spin for, I think it's enough, maybe half an hour, but I do it for at least an hour. Um, and then it has to dry for four hours total. So it's nice and glossy and shiny.